Uh, hey guys, uh, it's it's getting a bit hot out here, so I just needed a fan. Nothing out of the ordinary. It, why are you looking at me like this? I, this is all I have. I, I, it, this is, it's like 40 degrees out here. I need a fan, alright? Stop looking at me. What, you don't do this? What? Alright, you know what? You know what? Alright, fine, fine, fine. Here you go. Have all the money. Have all the money. Hey, there is My Five Was and uh, welcome back to your favorite series, announcements. I'm loving it. Not sponsored by McDonald's. Anyways, this is not a normal announcement anyway, so just listen up. So about two or three weeks ago, I realized something. If you guys don't already know, I use a Bowser add-on. No, not Bowser add-on, we're not playing Mario here. Browser add-on was what I meant to say. Called vidIQ, which you would have seen in a couple of my videos. You don't need to scream at me like this. It won't make me laugh, not my fault. <laughs> But uh, what that add-on allows you to do is, uh, you basically get to view the statistics of that video. Like views per hour, average view duration and whatnot. And I just noticed something about that add-on. On my own video, somehow, I realized that I was getting a lower vidIQ score than other YouTubers like me. vidIQ score is pretty much like how often you'll get your content featured. And uh, sometimes I even realize that even smaller channels than me gets a higher vidIQ score on their videos. Let me just show you an example, okay? So he pulled up this video. No, I don't want to edit it. Now this video has 616 views and it has a vidIQ score of 13.9. Now if you look at another video that has the same amount of views, like this one, uh, well actually this doesn't have it the same amount of views as one more, but it doesn't matter, it's just one view, who cares? And uh, this video gets a vidIQ score of 27.8. And that number is exactly half of this number. This could have just been a coincidence, right? Now, I know that uh, this video is actually way shorter than this video, like five times shorter. But uh, duration doesn't really have anything to do with it, IQ scores. But just in case, if it does, I pulled up another two videos that are similar in views. Actually, they have the exact same amount of views. And it has a pretty similar duration as well. I mean, this one's a minute and a half shorter. But come on, it's just a bit. It makes no difference. Now... It is, once again, exactly half. So by this point, it's pretty much beyond coincidence. Now you may ask, what, you're comparing channels that has like 30, 60, 100 times more subscribers than you. Well, let me compare a channel that has pretty much about the same amount of subscribers as me. This guy called the Rainbow Kid 073 has 48 subscribers out of 39. Nine more subscribers, I mean, who the hell cares? And uh, these two videos have, uh, this one has one less view, but who the hell cares? And once again, exactly, well, not exactly half. My one has actually 0.1 more vidIQ score, but that's mainly due to because I have one more view. So by this point, I'm really confused, like, I wanted to report to the vidIQ developers to see if there's something wrong with my stuff or whatever. And I tried googling everywhere and, uh, I found out this page. Have a look. It's called like and dislike ratio. And as you can see here, low ratio restrictions as of 1st of January, low ratios will face restrictions. And if you read here, users with a like and dislike ratio lower than 1 to 1 will have the content featured twice as less on recommended search and featured. And have a look at this, alright? My like and dislike ratio is way below 1 to 1. 101 likes to 199 dislikes. If there's one less like and one more dislike, it'll be exactly 100 to 200. It'll be freaking full on 1 to 2. So I was two dislikes away from getting monetization disabled. So apparently likes and dislike ratio does affect your freaking recommended search stuff. And the lower it goes, the worse it'll get. And if you could look here, if you have a dislike ratio of lower than 1 to 5, you can't even clickbait anymore. And look at this, 1 to 1000, they'll have the channels terminated. 
they they won't even be allowed to create any new ones. What the freak, YouTube? So after I see this page, I just became really upset. I mean, look at this, all these punishments. You know, this new algorithm that YouTube has created. <sighs> so yeah, because of that horrible incident, I am going to do what the title says. I'm literally going to be giving away so much crap to you dudes. Now, this might not make any sense now, but trust me, by the end of this video, you'll thank me. But anyways, what I'm gonna do here, is that basically I'm gonna be giving away to you guys. Wanna get more likes than dislikes on my videos? Or technically wanna get higher than a 1 to 1 ratio? A $20 Australian worth of anything. You can get gift cards from me or Steam games. You can even tell me to buy stuff from eBay and I'll ship it to you. Though the bad thing is you'll have to be the one who will have to pay the shipping fee. So technically this giveaway is better than my previous one. When I just restrict you to two options. Either Google Play or iTunes. And off topic, this freaking... I gotta stop filming at night. Stupid crickets. But anyway, this time you can have whatever you want. So go ahead, leave a massive thumbs up on my videos. Including videos before this one, even my first video. Not on my old channel though. If my total likes surpasses my total dislikes, one of you is gonna get a $20 worth of anything you want. So it's just one giveaway, right? Yes. It is just one giveaway. So then why is this video called Giveaway Bonanza in the title? Uh. For clickbait purposes? It, I, I guess? No, there's freaking more giveaways, alright? From now on, from this video on, every 50 likes I get, I'll be giving away, once again, a $20 worth of anything. Not on one video. However, if I encounter a dislike on my videos, that'll get rid of one like. So from this video on, I'll be putting a scoreboard at the very end of my description. And basically what that tells you is uh, how many likes we're at right now. If that reaches 50, then it's giveaway time. This will just be an endless loop. Do remember though, this will be harder if someone dislikes my videos. One dislike gets rid of one point. So guys, whenever I upload a new video, the best thing you can do is just to smash that like button. And also get this guys. People advertise fake giveaways on other people's channels all the time. Like there are a million Comments sent out every day, I'm not even exaggerating. Saying that I'm giving away a free iPhone, I'm giving away a car, I'm giving away my house, I'm giving away a private jet. What the freak? And of course, they won't be giving away for real. Get this guys, I'm doing this for real, I swear. I'm not even advertising. In fact, right now I have so much advertising power. I just do, just don't ask why. But I'm not doing so. So yeah, make sure you smash that like button on all of my videos. And uh, after I give away stuff to you people, I'll become a poor son of a bitch. You heard me right, I'll be the sun tanning down at you when you're at the beach. How's that for a living? Anyways guys, I'm afraid I have to end this very big giveaway. Hope you guys have all enjoyed. Please go down there, smash that like button. And also subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, see you guys all in my next video. Bye! <laughs>